Where do you begin something like this? I guess the beginning is the place to start. Thank you for joining me, and I hope this is well worth your viewership. There will be more to come as there are more stories to tell, but we'll begin at the beginning. So how did a guy from North Carolina and a gal from South Carolina end up in New York City? Well, it was pretty simple. Dad was a pilot during World War II, and afterwards he took a job with Pan American, which put us in, in New York and, and specifically on Long Island. So that's where we lived. Dad flew the Clipper ships, New York, London, Paris, Rome. He was out of the country for three weeks, and then we'd be back in the country for three weeks, and like most pilots did, he had to supplement his income, so he did so by selling insurance on Wall Street. At one point, he had to make a decision between flying and Wall Street, and of course, with, with my sister and a son, he said, I'm gonna sell insurance and be with the family, because he was out of the country a lot. So we moved to Charlotte. Charlotte, North Carolina is really where my first memories began. My first memories of Charlotte were amazing. In fact, they're very vivid, so I know they had to have been important. What I really remember the most was this. Oh, what's wrong? This, a 45 RPM record. See, it's RCA. There it is, hound dog. My sister said I played this constantly. Drove the family nuts. So at least some good came out of it. So me and my sister and dad were going to the store and he finds this record player. And it's got a, a stylus and this, this nail. It wasn't even a needle. It was a nail that went up in the thing. A little sharp thing. And, and it played this record over and over and over. And while I would be at the top of the stairs in our house in Charlotte, listening to this song, I mean, back and forth all the time. My sister said, yeah, you had four songs in there, but you, you chose to concentrate on one. And, and might I add, the one song I concentrated on happened to be the huge hit, Thank You Very Much. It was also in the house in Charlotte where I chose to flip down the stairs. Now, this probably has some sort of deal with my becoming a disc jockey and loving music because I remember looking at these stairs and this, this nice carpet on the stairs and going, wouldn't it be great if I just flipped head over heels down the stairs? Let's see what happens. So off I go, one of these, and then zoom, 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 plop. I hit the wall, boom, 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 down the rest of the stairs. And of course, my, my parents are going, wow, look what he did. My parents call a doctor. The doctor comes over and they, they say, well, he keeps flipping down the stairs. And he looks at me, he examines me, he says, well, he's okay. He's not bruised. He's not, he doesn't have any broken bones. He'll grow out of it. Maybe my parents were wondering if I would grow out of playing hound dog, which was probably a little more annoying than me just flipping down the stairs. But yes, eventually I did use the stairs in a more traditional way, but I still kept playing Elvis. Charlotte was great fun for me. I had a best friend. I had a girlfriend. There was this awesome guy that lives next door who was a professional photographer, which is how we wound up with pictures like this. But it was a great experience. Well, my dad had an opportunity to move and to progress in the company. They wanted to open an insurance company with this branch in Georgia, and he had a choice of two places. North Georgia, which was Atlanta, and South Georgia, which was Macon. As a child, my dad spent every summer in a little town near McCray and loved it. He absolutely fell in love with the state, and the, I think the reason he chose Macon is because he remembered his childhood and how great it was, and he wanted me to have the same thing. So we pack up and we moved to Georgia. We moved to Macon and we bought a house in a great neighborhood and, and there were some things that needed to be done so we had to live in a hotel for a couple of weeks. I, of course, thought the hotel was Macon. I was three years old, okay? We've already established I'm an idiot. This was one of the major things in Macon that changed my life. It's a transistor radio we got at Jack Paul's service station. They gave these away with enough gasoline buys. Mom got it, gave it to me. It had a headphone jack in the side amazing. I just now realized that this is about the same size as my iPod Touch. The thinness may be a little different, but yeah, you know, there we go. This allowed me to listen to stations all over the country, WABC in New York, WLS in Chicago, and of course all the local radio stations here. My world had really completely changed, not only because of music, but I started to notice the disc jockeys and how engaging they were, how much they knew about the music, and the fact that, that they just were having so much fun all the time. I thought, what could possibly be wrong with this? When we get together next time, I'm going to tell you about doing impersonations at a high school assembly, my first trip to a radio station, and the interest in broadcasting continues. 